Good morning, you guys. My name is Sandra. Welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a morning planner routine for you. I'm actually going to go through my planners step by step. And I just wanted to give you a warning. I do have my family in the background with the TV on because uh, my desk is in the living room and I basically have um, no other spot to do this. And um, it's important for me to show you how I do this. It is up. Sorry. <laughs> It is an updated uh, version because I do have one of these almost a year ago now and I just wanted to show you guys uh, what has changed in my system and what's new and um, I just want to just get into it. So I do have a couple of other videos that are related to this. I have a stationary desk tour that you can see everything in my desk and everything around my desk. That video is quite long and then I also have Another video that I just did, which was um, basically showing you how I use my planner system. It's like my my entire complete planner system I use all together. And um, it's like kind of the thing I do every single day. Um, but this, this is actually like me doing my planner system all the way through. So um, it usually takes me, it ranges anywhere from like 15 minutes to half an hour. So obviously because I'll be talking with you guys at the same time, this is going to take me a little bit longer. So the first step, I go into my Cultivate What Matters goal planner and I flip to the current month, which is July. So right now we are on the end of July. Um, I've already released my August goals and what I've written on my tending list. So I'll just show you guys that quick. If you have checked that video out, um, it's pretty, I don't think I actually showed this. I just talked about it. But um, it's pretty uh, simple because I didn't decorate it. I didn't really do much here. I just, I wasn't feeling like it. I just wanted to write it out and that was it. So this is for my August. But right now we've got two more days of July and then we're all done. So basically I'm doing pretty good. The only thing that I'm really sucking at, I haven't done any, I haven't been drinking water. And I know it sounds terrible. I should, I should be dead right now. <laughs> um, I, I'm drinking water, but I just, I'm not drinking enough water. My goal is four bottles a day and I'm not reaching that goal. So that's why I don't check it off. Um, and also my daily successes, technically I didn't start that till August. So I don't even know why I have that on there and lettering. I, I haven't done that either. So I think in my bullet journal, I think I might switch it to that and do, um, new lettering every week. I think that might be a really good idea to get back into. It's something I used to do, but I think I'll start again. So um, date night, family outing. I still can't cross that off because we're actually going out. My husband and I are going out on the 30th, which is tomorrow. So I will be doing that and I can cross it off Saturday, which is the 31st, the very last day of the month. Um, camping road trip, we did not get to that. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get in camping before the end of the year, um, or not the end of the year, but the end of the summer. So we might try, it might just be a road trip even. We don't necessarily have to go camping, but even if it was for a weekend, it would be really fun. So we're gonna play around with that idea and see how it goes. Um, cleaning and organization plan. Technically I could check it off because we have done organizing and stuff, but I really want to clean my upstairs bathroom. I, it's one of those chores that I just, I, I don't do. It's one of the things I should be putting at the top of my list and I don't um, because I hate doing it so much. So I'm waiting to check that box off until I actually clean the upstairs bathroom. And the reflection quote and prompt, um, technically I journal every day, but I did start this um, quote, like this prompt book. So it's like journaling still, but it's actually trying to learn more about myself than even I already know. Like, you know, just trying to learn about myself a bit more and trying to get the answers to my burning questions <laughs> and also also to develop better goals in January I think so I'm journaling a little bit and using prompts to get there and I haven't done that this week and as far as Instagram goes I'll cross this off once my video posts on Friday and I did clean yesterday so I'll cross off the 10 minute tidy learning I didn't enter anything into my commonplace book I did journal a bit I did read a bit 
Um, I didn't drink enough water, didn't let her, um, and I did water the plants. So the bottom two, I'm just going to ignore it because they're nothing right now. So that's all I do in my goal planning system. Obviously, setting this up is a little bit of work, but those are my goal planning videos, which I'll link for you guys if you want to see the playlist here. And um, yeah, this is basically what I do. So there are some months where I think I'm just going to flip back and show you like how I started. So if I go back to January, I'll just show you my tending list for each month because uh, each, each of them is different. Sometimes I use highlighter and I used to use these stickers, but you know, towards the end of the year, I kind of get lazy. So that was for January. This is February. I sometimes keep them different. I, I color coordinate sometimes. This one was for March. I did rainbow because I love rainbow and it was my birthday month. This was for April. Very black and white and gray. This was maize. That was June. I like this one too. I liked the lettering at the top. And then of course you just saw July. So um, July marks the, the start of the third quarter, so there was a lot of prep work involved here. Um, I pretty much revamped all of my goals and made them better than they were at the beginning of January, but I'm still, I think for for this upcoming January, I'm going to really like, you know, just get right in there and figure out what I really want to do. So that's it for my goal setting. So next what I do is I come into my Erin Condren planner. I do have the vertical this year. I come to July. Um, this was last week, so yeah, we're already in August. So here we are, and I come to the current day. So today is Thursday, and I look to see what I have to do. Um, current planner system. So I've done that video already. We're doing this one right now. And I have to also pay my bills, but that's something I'll do offline because I don't really want to show that right now. But uh, yeah, so basically what I do is when I sticker this at the beginning of the week or like I usually do it Saturday or Sunday, I'll sticker it. I'll put out my entire week. Like for instance, um, because my husband's home, I did two weeks in advance. So this one's already stickered. And how I lay out my stickers is I already know what I have going on during the week. So for instance, I post YouTube videos three times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. I have a blog, which I post here. And then these stickers are for the work that I need to get done during the day. And then that's what I put there. And then down here is basically free for all, like I can decorate. But my Erin Condren was more like um, a catch-all planner, I guess, if you will. So I have like other stuff like paid garbages, um, getting groceries, stuff like that. So that's what this one was for. But I won't do this until probably the weekend, like probably after Friday. I'll fill it all out. And then throughout the week, as I come to it, I'll see what I have to do. And then there's actually sometimes things in this planner that I won't have in my actual work planner that I'll be like, oh, yeah, I need to get that done. I forgot about that. So um, it, it came in handy in that regard. But as of January, um, I will be switching completely to my Franklin planner with just a bullet journal on the side. Okay, so that's it for that one. And now I get into my happy planners. So sometimes sometimes I have a, a preference for which one I do first, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do my work one first. There's generally only two sections I really pay attention to throughout the month. The only day that changes is the first of each month because I do log all of my statistics and analytics into the back section of my notebook. Um, as for today, I just go to my weekly schedule. So I look for the current day. Again, we're on Thursday. So basically it's the same thing. Like I said, a lot of times I'll have different stuff in my Erin Condren, but today it's, it's just that. And this is only for work. So basically how I have it, is this section was for anything to do with YouTube, like either of my YouTube channels. This section was for my blog or my website, and then this was for other. So sometimes I would list like all the stickers I had to, to, to do and stuff like that. But then there's sometimes like, this is a filming week because my husband is home. So these are all just videos I need to get filmed. 
And then of course, I'm going to be doing my uh, monthly Franklin plan, like Franklin binder planning Sunday because it is the start of the new month and I'm excited to, I, I guess it's like experimental planning in my Franklin planner because I'm still technically in my happy planners for the rest of this year. So yeah, yeah, it's a little much. I, I got a little excited about my Franklin planner. So anyway, so that's it for that section. And then we move to the stats. So I'll use my iPad for this like I did before. I just go to my YouTube, um, my YouTube studio. And it looks like I'm going to be needing a new sheet for this here soon. So I've got two, two different channels. So I go to my main channel. I go to my dashboard. And I've jumped to 819 subscribers. And I go to analytics, view more, and then I just check out the, a number of views. I change the time period from the 28 days to the, like the whole year. And then I just write down my views. And then I go to watch time and I do the same thing. And as long as I'm at 4,000, that's all that matters because I need 4,000 watch hours to get monetized when I hit my 1,000 subscriber mark. So then I switch over to my secondary account and that is on the back page here. So I'm at 36 and I do the same exact thing. We go to views and I write in how many views I had and again the watch hours as well. All right, and that's basically all I do. So um, I have added a lot of sheets from the list lab in here. And the only part that I use them for is when it comes to my stats and stuff. Um, and if I get orders for my sticker shop and any promos I have going on. So this is a lot to do with my sticker shop. So that is it for my work planner. I come into my home planner and I go straight to my catch-all section. And we're gonna head right to the current day. So today's Thursday. So before, I used to actually fill this out ahead of time. And I started just doing it the day of because it's a bit more accurate that way and I already know what I've got going on. So what I do is I write the main things I need to do at the top. I've already filmed. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can fit in the bathroom. I really need to clean the bathroom today. I'm supposed to do it on Tuesday and I never did. So bathroom and I think that's it. Oh and then paid I guess but technically paid is in my, my budget planner from Elena from the organized money. So we did wake up at okay so we woke up today at quarter after eight so I'm just gonna put that up put that in there and then we had all right coffee plan and then breakfast right underneath that and then I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna go get my nails done I haven't had my nails done forever you guys so in one of my upcoming videos soon you're gonna see that I've got my nails done um, I might get a pedicure as well pretty much it wasn't even a COVID thing I think it was I never had my nails or my I used to get pedicures all the time my entire pregnancy with my daughter. So she is now 15 months old as of July, August 1st. And I haven't had a pedicure since like a year before she was even born. Maybe even longer than that. Um, it's been a long time. And so part of the reason is because for my YouTube channel, I want to get my nails done and my toes. I just, I feel like I want to treat myself because, you know, it's nice to have a pedicure every now and then. So I think I might go for a mani pedi. Um, my daughter will be going for a nap. And then I'll be doing some reading and journaling during her nap. And then we'll probably have supper. We might actually go here. I'm not sure. Like when she wakes up, we might go to the water with the spray park. We'll see. Let's spray park here just in case. We might do that tomorrow too haven't decided or on the weekend 
um, then supper, and then Danica goes to bed. And then Con my son has a shower. But yeah, it's going to be 29 degrees today. Like, it's going to be crazy. It's really hot. We've already got a heat warning in effect. Um, we've had so many heat warnings this summer already. It's crazy. I can't believe we've had so many heat warnings. We've had beautiful days. And then we had a couple of overcast days where it was like the smoke from BC, the wildfires came in. Um, and we haven't really had that many storms. So that's all I do here. And then again, when I come back tomorrow, I will cross these off when I complete them. So, um, and right now I do have two months in this planner because we're so close to, close to August. So I already did set up like my month um, ahead of time. So as soon as we get to August 2nd, I will pull out all of July from each of the sections. So I skip next over to home. And we go to the same date. Today is the Thursday, the 29th. Um, so yesterday we did all of this. Um, we already took out the recycle for the food. Again, paid and Connor shower. And I have to clean my sheets today. So we'll add that on there. And then we've already got all of this stuff or most of this stuff. So we got just cross this stuff off here. Um, There we go. Still have to go to Walmart for a Walmart trip though. Um, I usually just skip over the chores, meal plans, and then budget I'll come back to after I pay my bills. The next section is my health. So we'll come here and I always go back to the day before because there's some parts I haven't filled out. So I do, I did drink one bottle of water yesterday. And like I drink lots of stuff. I just my goal is to drink four bottles of water in addition to like everything else I drink throughout the day. So like I had, you know, two cups of coffee and like my cups are the big ones. These are like 18 ounces. So I usually have two of those in the morning and then I usually have a bottle of water. Then I had an energy drink. Um, and then in the evening I have like, I usually have a cup of strawberry tea. It's like black tea by Tetley, but it's strawberry flavored. I'll have one of these sizes of tea. And then I usually have one or two herbal tea. So I drink this um, Sleepy Time Tea um, by Celestial Seasonings. It's like my favorite tea of all time. And I drink one of those. So I do get my overall, you know, like water water content, but it's not like bottles of water, which is my goal because I, I feel healthier when I drink that much water. For lunch, I had a burrito again. I realize I missed Tuesday here. But well, we had meatloaf for supper. And dinner, we ended up getting pizza. And then I didn't really have any pain that I remember. So last night we went to bed at... When did we go to bed, Chad? Okay. We went to bed at 2 again, which is so late. We got up at 8.15. All right, the water on here, and I'm really going to try. I say this every day, but I really suck. Um, breakfast is coffee, lunch, dinner, and snack. And then I leave the rest blank, and then I'll come back tomorrow and fill that out. Okay, so then we go to my mental health planner. So this is for my daughter. So she went to bed. She had a rough time getting to bed last night. I put her to bed, it was like 7.30, 8 o'clock, but then she, she wouldn't go to bed. And I don't think she went to bed till like 10 o'clock or something. And then she was up before us. She was already up at like 7.30 today. So I'm pretty sure she'll be having a long nap. Um, the next section is just the weekly section here. So this is kind of like a journaling section, I guess, slash how I've been feeling, but just depends what I write. Um, go to bed until 3 a.m. Um, got some cleaning done.
Hai. 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 Hi baby. Wave to the camera. Hi. <laughs> okay, and as for today, so I usually don't fill it out completely because I won't know how the rest of the day goes until you know we've got through the day. But um, as of now, I'm going to say we're good. And um, didn't get, I didn't get much sleep last night. So even though I said what time I woke up and went to bed, I just didn't sleep well. It just wasn't very good. Okay, so they, I'll just leave the rest of it blank. So for later. And then when I go to my reading section, which is the last section in this planner, I'm just going to write a little bit about the parts of my book that I read. This is what I read yesterday and, and it, it's not like everything of what I read, but I just try to give the highlighted points. So right now I'm on this book. This is the Throne of Glass series. Pretty sure, let's see which one this is here. Um, Empire of the Storms is the next one. So it's uh, one, two, three, four. I'm on book number four and there's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only seven or there's eight books in total. Um, I haven't read this one yet because this is the prequel, so I'm going to read this at the end when I'm all done. But uh, The Throne of Glass is the first, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, and then Queen of Shadows, then Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and Kingdom of Ash. So I actually, I have this one here. Um, I've ordered these two. This one's going to be here soon, but this one isn't coming until August 23rd, so hopefully, hopefully um, it comes before I'm done all the other books. So I'm just going to cross my fingers there, but uh, then this is like another series that by the same author that I will, I'll read this after, um, after I'm done this one. But so far, this is like one of the best books I've read, like our best series, I guess. So if you guys are interested, the author is Sarah J. Moss and uh, it's called The Throne of Glass series. It's really good. So that's it for my home planner. So I shut that up shut that up. I close her up. And then the next step is my bullet journal. So I will start be starting a new bullet journal, I guess the 1st of August. Technically the habit trackers don't get filled out until the 2nd, but um, I just kind of go through, see what I need to fill out. So Basically right now I've just been focusing on the habit tracker, the mood tracker, and then the drawing challenge. And then I do like my daily list and my weekly stuff. And that's pretty much it right now because I'm kind of obsessed with my Franklin planner and we'll quickly um, check that over as well. Just we'll look at the daily section um, and maybe the weekly section. So I didn't do any of that. Um, I didn't get a very good sleep. And what day is it today? Today is the 29th, right? So 28th, 29th, 30th, so Wednesday, four days. Okay. Um, so I did read yesterday. 31, 30, 29, 28. So that was the 28th. I did draw. Um, I didn't work in my commonplace book. I did journal though. I didn't work on my stickers and I didn't post to Instagram. And yesterday was, I think it was a fairly good day. So I'm going to color in with a bright 
color. Well, I already did. That was yesterday. So, and I'm getting into this terrible habit of coloring in the day of, but I don't actually know because, you know, I could have a really crappy day the last half of the day or something. So I'll wait till tomorrow to fill in for today. Okay, so then I come here and lately this one hasn't really been a prompt or anything. I've just been drawing whatever I feel like and just to kind of fill up the page, I guess. So I'm just going to draw some random leaves here. And that's it. And then what I do is I highlight them around the edges with my Tombow Food Nasuke just to um, kind of darken the edges up and make it... Um, kind of stand out a bit more, I guess. And that's all I do. So basically what I've been doing in this journal now is I have dailies here, but I have my weekly, this is what my week looks like. So I just kind of go through and just check off everything that I've done so far. So um, I sent my husband to Costco yesterday, so we'll cross off the stuff that he got. Um, and coming up, let's see, date night tomorrow. And I'm going to get my nails done today, I think. Um, I did get my Apple Pencil yesterday. I filmed these, so I'm currently filming one of them right now. <laughs> um, I have to do some makeup looks, so today I'm going to be doing this uh, storybook. It's the Burn Book by Storybook Cosmetics, the Burn Book um, palette. So if you guys are interested in that, I will have that posted on my makeup channel at Sandra Doll Beauty. And I did this one last night. I did this one yesterday. And I also have to add a uh, Franklin Planner that will be on Sunday. I have to add um, my Kiritake Fudigo Kachi. I did a brush pen review. Um, they're older brush pens I haven't actually talked about. And I couldn't believe I didn't talk about them. So I, I quickly did that last night. Um, let's see. We're going to do... We're going to organize the basement tonight. So... Or not tonight today we're going to and not the whole basement so we're going to do it in sections just to make the going easier because our basement's such a mess so i've got like a couple of sections to organize and today we're going to clean up the area where we keep all of our alcoholic beverages and drinks and stuff um something got spilled i don't know where it came from but the floor is all sticky so we're basically oh and we probably have a nest of spiders in one of the beer boxes which is disgusting that's how often i touch the beer <laughs> so we're going to um Maybe not a nest of spiders, but I know there's like a mama spider in there. So I'm going to, we're going to tidy it all up, kind of organize it, um, just make it look better and clean the floor and stuff like that. So we took the bottles in. Um, we're also, if we have time, we're going to clean up the toys in the garage today. And I started the, oh no, I didn't start that yet. I have to. I might add that to my list today. So I'm going to start a gratitude and affirmation journal, kind of like a manifestation journal. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Check beds. I have to clean my sheets today too. So, and I really want to clean that bathroom. Oh, and we did the freezer inventory yesterday too. So that's not bad. Development book, right? Okay. So that's it for there. And then, so this was my Wednesday. I got most of the stuff done. So I'm just going to quickly write out my list for today in my bullet journal. And then uh, what I've been doing, everything from my list in my bullet journal, I'll transfer over to my Franklin planner.
Okay, so that's all I can think of right now. And you might think that this looks like a crazy long list, but this is nothing. This is all these things between me and my husband will probably take half the day, if that. And um, most of it's already going to be done anyway. So I've already got the first three done. And my morning's just pretty much started. Um, the dishes won't take long. Uh, Chad's going to meet a friend for coffee today. Paying bills I'll do right now will just take like five minutes. And cleaning the coffee table and side tables will literally take five minutes too. So half of this stuff, it's just like five, ten minute tasks that won't take long. I think the thing that will take the longest is probably the mani-pedi if I go. Um, and also maybe filming my makeup look. But usually when I film it, it takes, if I can make it take about 20, 25 minutes and then I'll film it and then fast forward the video. The video is only like, you know, eight minutes long. So it doesn't take that long. And yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to transfer these things into my Franklin planner. So the pen I've been using was my Papermint Inktoy Gel Pen 1.0. I love that it writes so big. I like that. But in my Franklin Kobe planner, I haven't been... I've been using this. This is my Simply Gilded pen. Uh, it's a 0.5 pen. So I've been using this and liking the size just because it looks a bit more elegant in here. And so if I just flip to today's page, I already have a lot of the things here listed. Um, let's see. So I always try to make my list the day before. Oh, and I forgot, I'm going to wash my sheets today, too. Wash sheets. And then tomorrow I have to wash my son's sheets, so... Okay, so that's pretty much it for today. And um, the only other thing, sometimes what I do, like... I don't always just do this at the beginning of the week. If I know that there's something on my weekly to-do list or my monthly to-do list that I've done, I'll cross it off. So like when we finish the um, drinks downstairs, I'll cross that off today and just put the date beside it. So this is part of the reason why I'm excited to do a monthly plan with me because I want to rewrite my master task list onto August and just see all the things that I got done and just transfer only the stuff that I still have to do. So it's going to be very exciting for me. So anyway, this is obviously not a huge flip through of my entire planner. This will change before January. The only thing that I kind of want to mention is that um, I did get the Blooms inserts from July of this year till June of next year. And so I might just use them again for January instead of buying new ones. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I don't want to waste them. But uh, I also like planning from January to December. And I like that kind of makes me feel fulfilled when I have like a whole system from January to December. Um, and I'm not really, I don't like buying stuff in July, but I did here because it's brand new to me and I wanted to play around with it. So we'll see if those are the inserts that I use. So anyway, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I plan, I guess, my, my day. So this is something I do every single day. And uh, let me know what you do in your routine. Leave it in the comments down below. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe. And last but not least, don't forget to click that bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. And we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye now. Yeah.